okay so in the previous lesson we've been able to deploy our contract to the Sepolia testnet and this is actually the address in which our smart contract was deployed to so now we can actually um, view this contract on the Sepolia explorer and i'm sure we all know what explorer is um, let me just explore is basically a platform where we are able to check out the various transactions that is occurring in various blockchains. So I won't go deeper than this. So now let's go to the Sepolia. So since we actually deployed our smart contract to the Sepolia testnet, now let's look at our smart contracts on Sepolia testnet. So Sepolia, let's click on Sepolia Explorer. So it will be Sepolia. Explorer. Then let me put our address. So paste research. Now can you see? So now can you see our contract was deployed 49 minutes ago? This is the transaction hash. Now let's click on the contract button. So this is actually the contract that we deployed. But now in our own case now we've not been we've not verify our contract. So now it is actually good for us to you know verify our contract on um it is actually good for us to verify our contract so that when um so that um people that are interacting with our platform will be rest assured that okay what these people says their platform does is actually what it is doing so people can actually openly go into your contract read it and understand that okay there is not there is nothing um fishing going under the hood um in the background so that is why it is actually essential for us to verify our smart contract imagine you are um let's say let's say you write it let, let's assume you implement a smart contract to carry out some like a gaming a gaming um let's say betting you, you build a decentralized betting application and said when a user takes a certain amount they will get a certain amount and all that so in order for users to be rest assured that okay what this platform says they are doing is actually what they are doing so they can actually come to your smart contract read it go through it to be rest assured that okay this is what they said their platform is doing is actually what it is doing and there's nothing fishing fishy going under the hood so in order for us to do that we will need to verify our contract and for us to verify our uh, smart contract add that is um add that comes with the plugin so now let's go back to the other documentation let's go back to the other documentation then search for add that verify so add that verify is basically a plugin that enable us to you know perform um, that enable us to basically verify our smart contract so programmatically so now add that verify so you know just like the word plugin plugin are just some set of library that carry out specific operations so so they just carry out a specific operation so now verify so now this is our added verify now this plugin help, helps you to verify the source code for your solidity contract at the moment the support is task can please us for us on, and so on and so forth so now for us to be able to verify our smart contracts we need to install the adat um plugin itself so let's install the plugin and add let's enter the command and add then okay so we've installed our um plugin the next thing is for us to import Add the following statement to your config dot file. So 
so the next step is to import the plugin into our configuration um, file so let's go to our configuration file and let's um, import it so then the next step here is for us to um, add uh, the, the next step is for us to add the ETA scan um, the next is to add our configuration object for ETA scan so go to our add that config object so ETA scan so ETA scan let's just copy it here yeah. so API key so API key so now we need to go to the task and to obtain our API key and for us to obtain our API key we need to log in into our account so um let's try to log in um let's click on So sign in. So it's taking some time. Let's resume. Then Steve, I'm not the robot. So let's all scroll traffic lights, okay? Stairs. So, okay, so let's run to secret accounts. So, you didn't use. Let me use test one, three. Let's say test Steve. So, test underscore Steve. Test underscore Steve. Okay, one, two. How about this? Holy alpha. Okay, let me use test Steve. One, two. Maybe this one go through this time. Let me use test one, two, three, four. Then test one, two, three, four. Okay, I'm not a robot. Stairs. Oh, Okay, create an account to save so an anime will be sent here so let's refresh okay Any confirmation link welcome okay my account has been created so let me sign in now test the one so then I'm not the robot remember me to log in so all I just need now is for me to obtain my API key so can you see by the left hand section here the API key will be available so I basically so now let me add my API key now let's see the name is probably Steve so this is my API key so let me copy it um let me let me add it to my um so so now uh, I think the next step is for us to uh, next step is for us to run this command so so the next step is for us to run this command which is yarn paste now the first step is the if yarn add that verify what network so 
parameters of uh, Gwelly. You have the network name. In our case, we are making use of the Sepolia testnet. We are making use of Sepolia, then our contract address. So let's go to Itascan to obtain our contract address. Okay, I guess. Uh, okay, you can still access it here. Okay, so these are contract address now. Then we paste our address. Okay. So enter. Let's see. See what happens. So it's taking some time. User project is inactive. Okay. What's wrong? What's wrong? Okay. 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 Sorry. Um. Let me go back to Infra. I actually deleted my ROPC endpoint. So the ROPC endpoint I was using, I actually deleted it. So let me obtain my new ROPC endpoint for Sepolia testnet and let's see how it goes. So now let's fix the command again. So Okay, now can you see successfully submitted source code for contract at address? So now let's go back to our block explorer. Let's go to the Itascan explorer to confirm that our um, smart con our smart contract has been um, verified. So all you just need to do is Sepolia, Sepolia test, Sepolia explorer. So go to Itascan then. Um, click on the address, then search. Let's see. So, can you see now? We now have we now have a blue tick indicating that our smart contract has been um, verified. So, you know, previously it was showing a um, verify smart contracts link, something like that. But now it has uh, a tick has come up indicating that our smart contracts have been verified. So, this is a end of this today's session for verifying your smart contract have a wonderful day stay blessed <laughs>